Hello, and welcome to another Pentair water training video. Today, we will be discussing how to stuff a Fleck 2510 control valve. This valve has six seals, five spacers, and one end spacer. If one of these spacers or seals becomes damaged, you must unstuff the valve and then restuff it with a new seal and spacer kit. The reasons for replacing a seal and spacer kit are if water is running down the drain during service, or if there is a restriction in the flow path through the unit, tank, and, and drain line. This restriction occurs when the brine tank refills during the slow rinse cycle. A vacuum gets started and then pushes the water back into the brine tank. To begin restuffing a valve, the first thing you need to do is shut off the water to the unit by using the bypass or the main shutoff valve. Advance the unit manually into backwash and let it run until no water is running down the drain. This has just relieved the pressure from the tank, then manually advance the unit back to service position. Then identify if you are working with either a meter valve or a filter valve. With a meter valve, you need to remove the meter cable from the meter cap. Do this by pulling on the brass connector end of the meter cable. Do not pull on the black insulation of the meter cable. Next you need to remove the brine valve. However, if you are working with a filter valve, there will be no brine valve. Remove the brine tubing from the brine valve. That is, the tubing that is connected to the brine valve and runs to the brine tank. Then unscrew the brine valve body from the power head by unscrewing the brine valve stem guide. To do this, use a wrench to hold the brine valve body in place and then use another wrench to unscrew the brine valve from the valve body. After you unscrew the two screws, pull the power head out of the valve body. Sometimes a few of the seals and spacers will come with it. Before we continue removing the remaining seals and spacers, check the piston to make sure it isn't damaged. Check the large lobes on the piston for any scratches, scouring, or gouges of the Teflon. If there is damage, the piston will need to be replaced. If the piston looks fine, you may begin on stuffing the valve. To take out the seals, use a seal hook, long pick, or long needle nose pillars to pull them out of the valve. To remove the spacers, you must use a puller tool. Take the puller tool, shove it all the way into the valve, and press the button. When you push the button, the tool will latch onto a spacer, making it easy to remove. Continue this process by alternating between seals and spacers to unstuff the entire valve. The final spacer is thin and white and needs to be removed with the pick used to remove the seals. Now that the seals and spacers have been completely removed, check to make sure there is no damage to the valve. If there are any large scratches or gouges, you need to replace the valve body. If you have scale buildup on the inside of the valve body, use warm water and a little dish soap and scrub the inside of the body with a toothbrush and clean it out the best you can. Do not use any solution that is harmful if swallowed or any device that may scratch the valve body. If everything looks good, grab your new seal and spacer kit and begin restuffing the valve. To do this, you want to start with a thin white spacer. You will notice on the spacer that there is a little lip called a bite ring on the spacer and as a rule, this bite ring will always face up. This bite ring bites into the seal. There are also bite rings on both sides of the spacers. Take the end ring and put it on the end of the stuffer tool opposite the end with the aluminum sleeve. Insert the end ring into the valve body. Leave the stuffer tool inside the valve body and put a seal inside of the aluminum sleeve and spin the tool around. Stick it in the valve and press the button while holding the outside of the stuffer tool loosely to release the seal. Soaking the seals in warm water with dish soap makes them easier to install. Continue with this process again, alternating between spacers and seals. Make sure as you do this that the seals are sitting flat inside the valve. Once the valve has been restuffed, it is time to put it back together. Make sure the piston is properly lubricated with a silicone lubricant. Do not use any lubricant with petroleum. Push the power head with the piston connected into the valve body. Make sure the brine valve is also inserted back into its original hole and put the brine valve stem guide back on. 
Just screw the bri valve stem guide back on only a couple of turns. Then screw the two screws back into their original holes and tighten the brine valve stem guide. If it's a meter unit, don't forget to reattach the meter cap. For further technical support on stuffing the Fleck 2510 valve, please call 1-800-279-9404. Or, for additional information on any Pentair water product, please visit www.pentairaqua.com.